I mean, well, it's all the, still the the trickle down theory, right? That's been disproven <clears throat> over and over all again. Over. You know, it's amazing. The, the I can't recite the guy's name, but he was the author of the tax cuts back in the Reagan years. Uh, Arthur Laffer. Uh, no, not Laffer. No. Was another oh, guy. Okay. Like, part, right. part of the strategy. I, the, I remember the Laffer that name. curve, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. And he, right. and he said we never pretended that um, those tax cuts were going to be pay themselves back. That that's just nonsense, and the, but the Republicans now have their their so-called dyna- dynamic scoring that say, oh, it'll create so much more economic uh, activity that'll offset some of it. But even with dynamic scoring, this Republican version now costs almost three trillion dollars. Isn't it funny? I know who you're thinking of as a young guy who later admitted that it was false. That was yeah. phony. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, wrote a book uh, uh, admitting that everything he told Ronald Reagan that Ronald Reagan bought and swallowed well, was not true. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Right. Yeah. But they're, they're still they're, they're still selling it. Uh, you, you know, they, they make a know, big point of the, the corporations paying I have a thirty five percent rate. Right. Yeah. You can show now, the chart that's among the highest rates in the world, but they ignore the fact that the actual rate when you when you do the maths fourteen percent, and that a quarter of those companies don't pay any taxes at all. I mean, any U.S. corporate taxes. So let's just fix the corporate tax system, uh, and that that's not a ma- and make it revenue neutral, as Paul Ryan has said from the beginning. But the plan they put on the table is not revenue neutral. Right. No, I was going to ask you as a as a businessman, um, you know, what you thought about this this idea. That's the other flip side of it. You know, part of it is the individual income tax rate, eighty percent of which, as you said, goes to the top one percent. But then they also want to cut the corporate taxes, saying. That that's going to put four thousand dollars in the pocket of every every middle class family. It's just Bill, I've been trying to read everything I can about this, and what it shows is that almost all of that cut in the corporate tax rate is going to go to the shareholders, not exactly. the workers. Yeah, and, and I'm nothing wrong with the shareholders, except that uh, basically you're you're improving corporate profits, and if that were going to flow through to the workers, that'd be a great argument, but it doesn't. Yeah, um, Congressman Don Beyer with us uh, from. Com- 